I hope that you are having an amazing turkey day, hopefully a vegan one. Um, but for today's video, I wanted to bring you my Thanksgiving look. This, this is an amazing Thanksgiving look that incorporates a lot of beautiful autumn colors that you could actually wear any time of year. It also makes every single eye color pop, so, so it is definitely a look that you kind of want to have on hand and in your little makeup arsenal. But I love you guys. It is absolutely stunning, perfect for the season, and I will show you guys how to get this look. So to start off this Thanksgiving, I have some pimples. And I don't care because I'm so over it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my under eye concealer. This is from It Cosmetics. It is called a Bye Bye Under Eye. And I am just going to stripe this underneath my eyes. And instead of just going like this, I'm actually going to kind of create a triangle um, because it looks much more natural. And this is a great concealer. It really does work extremely, extremely well. So I'm also just gonna take a little bit and put it right here because I'm not gonna be bothered with my acne today. Um, but do whatever foundation is best for you. I'm going to use a Mica Beauty brush and just kind of buff this out so that it looks natural. Can you see that I haven't slept in days? <laughs> Alrighty. Now that you can't see that I haven't slept in days, I'm gonna get on with my foundation. I have really been enjoying the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is not my perfect color, but that's okay. I also got myself my Beauty Blender. I'm going to start by just kind of applying it onto my face and then use a balancing motion with the Beauty Blender just to make sure that this looks pretty much even. Even if a couple blemishes show through, so be it. Um, that was Born This Way. I used um, Warm Nude, which again is a little bit darker for me. So to balance it out, I am using this Nuance by Salma Hayek. This is an amazing line, by the way. It's drugstore too, so it's super inexpensive. Um, but this one is in Light 220, and it's a little bit light for me, um, but that's totally okay. I'm using it with a Mica Beauty brush, and I am just going to dust this all over my face. But this will also help with oil control, so um, that's what I'm going to do. But like I said, just use whatever foundation is best for you and your skin type. And as you can see, I've still got some pimples showing through, but you know what? It's Thanksgiving and I'm just going to be thankful that I have a face because um, even if it has pimples, I do like my face. Just putting that out there. Now that this face is blessed, I am going to apply a little bit of blush. This is the Olivia Palermo by Cartier London Collection. It is gorgeous. This one is in Seaside Park. And this one is both a beautiful kind of bright pink and a little bit of bronzer. So I'm just going to take the pink side mainly and grab a little bit of the bronzer because it is such a bright pink. Um, the bronzer will kind of dim it down. Just smile to find the apples of your cheeks and swipe this upwards. Um, and this will look great with the eye colors that we're using as well and just really balance out the face. Because this is a very, very bright blush, um, it can be a little intense. And if that's the case, just take whatever's left on the brush and kind of sweep it where you would bronzer um, and maybe a little bit down your neck. And that really just kind of helps to balance everything out. But I want these cheeks to look very, very cranberry um, to go with my Thanksgiving look. Um, and once they do, and once I'm satisfied, I can take um, whatever is left on my powder brush and just kind of buff out the edges of this color. I am using a Stippled BH Cosmetics, and I am using this Argon Oil Physician's Formula Powder. This is amazing. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. It is glittery, and I'm going to use this as a kind of a highlighter and a bronzer, um, just because it does have that glitter. So I'm just going to take this on my brush. It smells amazing, by the way. Um, but it is Physician's Formula, so it's only a couple bucks at the drugstore, and then it is also um, non-comeogenic, which is great. So because it's a little bit sparkly, I'm going to take that and put it right here on my highlight. And you don't want to sweep this all over your face because then you will look a little bit overdone. Um, you just want to take this and just kind of lightly press it on. Um, you know some of those people who have highlighter like all over their face and they like walk in the door and they're like, I'm here! And then everyone turns around and they're like, yeah, your face told us. Not what we're going for today. Um, so just light and easy does it. Um, a little bit of sheen, a little bit of sparkle, um, and that is all it takes. Then on the same brush, I am going to take mainly the contour from this Olivia Palermo Duo, um, and I'm going to use this just to kind of chisel out the bottom of these cheeks. And if you regularly contour, um, contour with whatever you use and do it wherever you like. Um, I'm just gonna quickly sweep this on. For my brows, I'm just using the Bobbi Brown pencil. I'm just gonna really quickly um, brush these up and place these on. Do your brows however you like. I would recommend going natural or a little bit bushy. Um, but again, it is totally up to you. I'm going to use a little bit of powder um, to kind of dampen them out so that they don't look quite as dark. 
All right, next it's time to work on these eyes, and I'm gonna be using a really, really fun base for this look. This is eye polish from Pure Cosmetics. This stuff is amazing. It's like a little liquid thing that you apply with this little silicone thing, um, and it's really, really cool. It's like a little sponge inside. I'm going to use two different colors today because that is how fancy I'm feeling. Um, but you just kind of press this out and get it on this little silicone pad, and it's kind of like a liquid primer, and you can use it as a color too, but I am just going to use it as a primer and then start applying some shadow um, because it works so well as a primer. Um, but it goes on liquid and then it kind of dries and it's literally beautiful and iridescent. This one is called Satin. But use whatever base you have or if you're interested in a new base, I would highly, highly recommend this one just because it is so epicational um, and beautiful. And I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of pat this out. This is literally such a fun product to use, and like I said, you can use it alone or with something else. Um, next, I'm gonna take Velvet, which is this beautiful, beautiful cranberry color, um, and I'm going to apply this to kind of the outer corner of the eye. Look at that, like that is so gorgeous. This one is much darker, um, so I'm also going to use a brush just to kind of blend it out. They do give you this little silicone thing to work with, which is good, um, but I find that it's better for placing, whereas if I wanna buff something out, I do like to use a brush and it just gives this eye so much dimension. I'm gonna take a little bit more on the tip and kind of push it right underneath. Next, I'm going to take a Cargo Cosmetics, um, what would this be, like a fluffy, it's called the Magic Eye Brush, ooh ya la, ooh ya la. Um, I'm just going to take this and kind of start here where it's lightest, kind of blend these two colors in together, just kind of like with a bouncing patting motion. Um, and then I'm gonna work kind of on the outer um, edge and just kind of gently, gently blend this out. And I'm just bringing it over as well. Look who came to visit! It's a Fluffmeister! So she got outside and got tangled up with a bunch of raccoons and we had to shave her. So she was like a naked mole rat cat. And then we let her grow back and now she looks like a fuzzy little lamb. Oh, I love you! I love you! She says, I love you too! You know what I'm thankful for this Thanksgiving? Kitties. Just kidding, I won't eat her, I'm a vegan. Next I'm gonna work a little bit more color into this crease using a Micah Beauty Angled Brush. I am going to take out my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. This palette is the bomb.com and it is literally beautiful. It has every single color that you would need for fall or autumn. So I'm gonna start out with the crease and I'm going to take Soft Plum, then I'm gonna take Goji, and then I'm gonna take Tangerine. Um, but first I'm gonna take Soft Plum. I am just going to place this right here into the very inner corner of my eye, um, create kind of an arch around this original Pure Cosmetics satin color. Beautiful. Then I'm going to take Goji, which is this definitely Goji Berry color, um, which is a little bit warmer, and kind of push this kind of here into the middle of my crease. Um, and again, because this is an angled brush, it's really, really easy to do. And I'm just kind of outlining um, the base colors that we used. This just adds a lot of great warmth to this. I'm also going to kind of take whatever's left on the brush and kind of drag this down and pat it over this outer corner. Next on this fluffy eye brush, I'm taking Tangerine, which is this beautiful orange, and I'm gonna use that a little bit above this as well. Now this is just a great way to warm up eyes, especially if you have green or brown or blue eyes or hazel eyes. Orange is just a great way to make those pop. Next, I'm going to take a Tarte Regular Eyeshadow Brush and I'm going to take Bisque which is a nice white color, and I'm going to use this underneath my arch. Um, this is going to accentuate the brow bone, and then we're gonna use this to kind of blend into these other colors before we apply just a touch of green. And just blend these into each other um, until they really merge nicely. We kind of want that to be like a gradient effect. Very last, but definitely not least, I am taking a MAC um, 266 brush, and I'm going to take Forest, which is this beautiful green color. Um, this is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna take it on the angle brush, and I'm going to use this to kind of line underneath my eyes and create almost like a little green wing um, within the makeup. So I'm going to take this and place it right over, um, right like onto the crease of these two colors, and right over the orange and the purple where they overlap. This creates a very, very cut crease and adds some beautiful, beautiful color. 
I'm then going to take it and connect it to the outer corner and to the lower lash line. Once that is done, the eyeshadow is complete. As you can see, it really gives these eyes a gorgeous pop, and it really just is a beautiful, beautiful way to add a lot of nice color to this Thanksgiving look. Next, I am going to take this Drama Liquid Pencil um, from Lancome. This is beautiful. It is a bright, bright yellow, and I love that these are so creamy and easy to use. And I'm going to use this to line my inner wet line. Also, because this is a lighter color, it makes our eyes look much bigger. And this is beautiful because it is so pigmented that it actually lasts, and it's so creamy that it actually stays on, whereas some other lighter colors don't really do that for me. So obsessed. Next, it's time for lashes. I am using this Makeup Forever Lash Show, and this one is in N203. This is a very, very natural pair because I don't want it to take away from the colors in these eyes, but I do want it to frame the eyes well. Of course, I have my little candy cane tweezers, um, and I am just going to use these with the Makeup Forever Lash Glue and apply these babies. It is so hard to be a girl, like fake lashes and all. Next, I'm gonna do mascara, and because this is a very, very intense look, I'm going to use a beautiful mascara. This is from 100% Pure. Um, it is pigmented with fruits and berries. This one smells like blueberries. I love it so much. Uh, and it's a very, very natural mascara. It does bleed a little bit if you sleep in it, so obviously don't sleep in your makeup. I'm just going to apply this um, to my lashes. And because these eyelashes are so natural, it just looks like a beautiful extension of what we already have. Now that we are done with this mascara, it is time to move on to lips. Um, so I am going to break out a lip liner. This one is from Laura Mercier. This is absolutely beautiful. It's called Plumberry. It is the perfect autumn or Thanksgiving or winter color, to be completely honest. And I'm just going to use this to line my lips. Once I have that lined, I am going to take out this color from Bite Beauty. This is called Cream. It is a very nude, kind of a natural color, um, but it's got that kind of autumn twist to it. Um, so I'm just gonna use this and apply it as lipstick. But I'm just gonna kind of work this into the lip liner until it looks perfect. Next, I'm gonna take just a touch of lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. This is in Pretty Thing, Enamored, Pretty Thing Enamored, something like that. And I'm just going to apply this to the center of my lips. After that, this look is complete. So once you've applied your lip gloss, this look is complete. It is a gorgeous look. I really hope that you enjoy it. Throw on a really cute autumn looking sweater or something. Paint your nails. This is Miss Independent by Deborah Lipman. Um, apply an amazing fragrance. This is Dulce & Gabbana. Um, I don't even know which one it is. It's like red velvet. This is amazing. I wish that you could smell through the little screen because this is like heaven in a bottle. Pretty much, but that's what I'm going to be wearing today, and this is the final look. So I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you have a very happy Thanksgiving. Go get yourself a vegan tofurkey and celebrate all the things that you are thankful for, because I am thankful for makeup, but more importantly, I am thankful for you, and cats, obviously. But I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I will see you all Monday and Thursday, because that is when I post new videos. So subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the bottom tab for some awesome makeup links and for some giveaways that are going on right now if you want to win some free hair products um, or an awesome limited edition lip gloss. Uh, but I love you guys. Hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.